Thank you, moderator. I'm delighted to see you, Madam Teacher. Thank I prefer you. calling you Madam Teacher. That's great. It's I'm better. your ardent listener. <laughs> um, my name is Simon Msoke Nsubuga. I'm a people power supporter and a diehard. My question is, Madam Teacher, I believe and understand that you love Colonel Dr. Chiza BSJ. You support him, that you never deviate away from. I will draw you back to Honare Chagurani. Honare Robert Center Chagurani currently cannot do his personal businesses in Uganda. He cannot sing. Everything is on hold. Dr. Chiza BSJ's business is booming. The petrol stations, the hotels, everything is moving on. Many people have regarded him as a mall. Are you supporting a mall for unity or not? That's my question. Thank you, gentlemen. Madam Teacher. Well, you see, we are all victims of the propaganda by the enemy. It is, it get, at times it gets so sad and demoralizing when we hear you people talking about us like that. But when I was coming here, I picked a book, you know. He sent it to me, by the way. Uh, what happened by Hillary Clinton? What happened? So... As I was traveling, I, I came reading that book. And um, at page 45, Hillary Clinton is talking about the many lies that were told against her. And she says, like I believe, that I believed that Americans would just see through these lies. That I thought that Americans knew me and what I stand for and that they would not at any one time believe that I could trade the principles and the values for which I've stood for all my life for any price. But she says that this is a strategy by leaders, one, by, 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 by some politicians, one. When bad things are said about good leaders, good and honest leaders, when lies at all, you know, people tell lies about them. People tend to believe that all politicians are crooks. And at the end of the day, there is nobody to talk about the real bad men in your society. If having a petrol station that works, that has not been closed in Uganda, makes one a mall. My brother, Honorable Bochabulani, will be one. He has a petrol station in Uganda. It's working. He has other businesses. They are working. One, they are targeting his concerts because most of any fear people getting together. Basically, had a security company. He was one of the first people, Ugandans, to have a security farm in Uganda. It was closed. My husband here cannot work. It's only that they haven't written about him. He was a Lord's technician in Mukono district. One time they invited him and told him, either you get you separate with your not a wife or you leave our employment. He chose to leave the job. He went into business, mobilized the funds, some borrowed the funds, and he, he, bought, he, he bought load equipment, graders, excavators, but he can't get business. 
even when he is hired by a private person, they go and intimidate that person that why are you giving business to Nambose's husband? He's not working. So, Honorable Lukwago was my lawyer, and he's still my lawyer. Let me tell you. One time I was in Ebuzira, they had arrested me. They sent me money. Tomokunde sent me money through somebody they called Chisula. I understand he's here in the US. He sent me money that tell Namboze that as long as he's hiring Rukwago, she will be found guilty. We are sending her that money to get another lawyer so that she can get out of prison. My husband ran ahead of those people who are coming to the prison to talk to me. And you know, he came. It was not time for him to see me, but he kept on sending me information. So I kept on saying, well, what are they going to tell me? Eh? Because for him, he said, no, my wife can't go into that. So eventually, when they brought the money, Chisule, I refused to take it. And you know, Chisule was a clever man. He used that money to come here. <laughs> <laughs> He never took it back to. During the same period, there was a lady called Ikagwa who was arrested for indecently assaulting a young boy. He was, Lukwago was his lawyer. That lady was sentenced to 10 years in the prison. When she made the appeal, they told her, do you know what? You will never be able to get out of jail as long as Elias Tukwago is still your lawyer. But if you can denounce her, we shall release you. From prison, the woman wrote a press statement and said, I'm dismissing Tukwago, he's no longer my lawyer, because he has been using my case for political mobilization. In two weeks' time, the lady was out of prison. So... Today, Lukwago's chambers only handle cases, pro bono cases, to do with us politicians. It is, all, it is as if he's even doing, giving free service. He can't get these big firms to hire him, yet he's one of the best lawyers in the campus. But you can't find that his place, Coca-Cola, MTN, what, what. Other people get, other lawyers are becoming so, so rich, but you know, he can't. I was working at CBS. I would have kept my job out up to now because I'm a journalist. I didn't want to go out of employment just because I'm MP for Mukono. But when CBS was closed, one of the conditions for reopening CBS was that CBS should never have my program to Jokan, the very program that gave me the title Madam Teacher. Because I was not uh, on that program for free. I was fetching a salary from that program. I would have loved it to stay in employment because, you know, being an MP is not a job which you can rely on for the rest of your life. I'm not also working as a journalist. Even for programs I go to which, where I don't pick any pay, like I've been appearing on CBS every Saturday. Today they say you can't appear on CBS every Saturday. You must appear there twice in a month. So, this thing is general. One thing you must know, our brother Chiagulani is facing a bigger attack. Just because he has come at this time. Every time Museveni perfects his art of doing bad things against the opposition. So, I don't know where you want this debate to end. One, you choose the best idea of being a moral. Then the next question you will ask, why don't you, you unite for Besige to support each other? Then the two don't tarry. So, be aware of this talk. Who advances such empty talks? Tamale Mirundi. Does he work for you? Tamale Mirundi is a regime propagandist. So he gets up and says, you know, Besige is very rich, he has a total petrol station, but you see, Museveni cannot close that is petrol station at in Zambia because Toto, like all those international companies, 
are bigger than some governments in Africa. But at least he killed the manager of that petrol station who, that is Bessie's brother. He killed him. So, which type of trade is this between Bessie and Museveni, where the man gets his brother killed just because he's playing games with Museveni? To some of us who have been near Chisa Besige, and we know him beyond the political podium as a person, as a friend, we feel so much insulted when people start talking such things against him. We can say that given the present environment, we change the candidate, but that should not come through maligning others and telling outright lies against them. So, I kindly beg you people to be wise. Let's be able to detect lies. He's one of the people who invited me here. He knows when he invited me, but when I left Kampala, Mirundi went on the radio and said, you see, Namboze was given 50,000 US dollars to go in America and trade off Chagulani. I'm seated here in a wheelchair. I have had two separate surgeries on my spine. But people say Namboze is not sick. You know, some of these things are so demoralizing. But, you know, Besiji and I, and tomorrow, Chagulani, these things you are saying about Besiji, tomorrow you will say them against Chagulani. We are not the first victims of such a strategy by the enemy. When Mandela was in prison, some people used to say that he is dealing with the whites. Mahatma Gandhi was even killed by his own people. When he told them that let's not use violence, those who were interested in violence opened up a hate campaign against him and told the people that, you know what? Mahatma Gandhi is on the side of the colonialists. That's why he doesn't want us to use violence against them. They killed Mahatma Gandhi. People who had been fed on the hate campaign. But today, when you go to India, Mahatma Gandhi is still the father of the nation. So, kindly, be, be careful about this hate propaganda being spread against us. It hurts very much that, you know, when you are fighting for freedom in Uganda, you have to fight with the enemy with one arm, while the other hand is trying to control colleagues who are attacking you from your own side. It hurts. So, kindly, this hate campaign that is being uh, advanced by a number of people, including our very own, will catch up with them. Because today you can say, Besiji has a petrol station. Then I also give, bring you evidence that Honorable Bochagulani also has a, a petrol station that is working in Igomba. He also has other businesses. But why should we really go to that? Why should we, why should we really reduce ourselves to such a level? And those are just diversionary things, my brother. Okay, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Yeah. Sokovic. I, I, I think uh, some of these issues, we need to give them actually a historical perspective and understand the modus operandi of who we are dealing with. I'm fortunate that I got on the scene when I was young. Now I have reached my 50s. I'm about to exit the stage. And I have seen this happen over time. When Yoel Museveni came to power, his finger appointed at the Democratic Party and I chose them for being responsible for the scars in the world. There was even an advertisement in his first election in 1990.